There's so much to learn from your Instagram analytics, and I'm guessing that you're probably a little bit confused about what all the numbers mean. I'm Sue B. Zimmerman, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to look at your analytics so that you can understand what all that information means so that you can optimize your Instagram strategy. Okay, let's start from the beginning. To see and use insights, you must have a business account and be in the Instagram app on your phone. Here's a quick rundown of why you should switch to a business account. Number one, the insights. And we're gonna get into all the details here in a minute. Number two, the swipe up feature for stories. And this is huge, but you must have 10,000 followers in order to have this option. Number three, adding a contact button there's so many options here how people can get in touch with you. You can have people text you, email you, or get directions. And it's right here in your profile, which makes it super convenient for people to reach you. And number four, which is a bonus, Instagram has specifically stated that business accounts do not get penalized by the algorithm. Okay, back to your insights information. There are two ways to view your insights. The first one is to view by individual posts. So if you tap into a post, any post, you will see under the post, view insights. And when you tap into that, you will see your likes, your comments, and your saves. You'll also see your profile visits and your reach. And if you take your finger and lift that up, you will see so much more. Now, just a reminder, this is for your individual post and not your account, which I'm gonna talk about next. The second way to view your insights is to tap into the insight bars to the right of your username and then you will see your activity, your content, and your audience. All kinds of information here and we're going to go through this. So what I want you to do when you tap into audience is just scroll down to the very bottom and here you're going to see your followers. You will see what day of the week they are most active and you'll also see the hour of the day that they're most active. Pay attention to reach versus impressions in your Instagram insights. Reach, as you can see here, 10,121 is the number of unique users that saw this post. And it stays the same even if a user went back 10 times to see this post. Impressions means the total number of times that this post has been seen, 12,683. So if the same person checks out this post 10 times, the number of impressions is 10, not one. If your impressions are much higher than your reach, it's a sign that your audience is viewing your content multiple times. And as you can see, they are loving this particular post. Okay, so why does this matter? Well, your post that has the most impressions are the posts that you wanna focus on, right? And expand upon because that means that people are not only viewing your post, but they're also sharing your post and viewing your post more than once. You also wanna make sure you take a look at when you should post, like I showed you earlier. So you wanna tap into the insight, tap into your audience and really pay attention to when the most optimal time is to post for that day. And the truth is, you guys, I don't always post at this time, but I do look at it as an indicator as to when is the best time to post. So today is Tuesday and I did post at three o'clock. I have, as you can see, between 11 and four as the optimal times to post on Tuesday. So make sure that you're utilizing all of the insights to make the best decisions for your business. Did you like this video? Go ahead and let me know in the comments below if you have any more questions or what information you found the most helpful. And if you're watching this soon after it was released, you can sign up for my free live class all about using Instagram to grow your email list. I link that for you below. And I'll see you in the next video.